Welcome back. In this particular module, we will see how the integrator can be uh, designed using an operational amplifier, right. So, when you talk about integrator, it, for, it, it performs the function of integration, it performs the function of integration. That is why, in the, in the starting of the op amp, I told you that operational amplifier can be used to solve the mathematical functions, right, mathematical functions. So, let us see how you can design a op amp to work it as an integrator. Okay. So, if you come to the screen what you see is integrator is a circuit whose output is proportional to the negative integral of the input signal with respect to time. Right. So, here what we have done we have a resistor as a input, but in the feedback we have used a capacitor, we have used a capacitor okay. and if I solve it, if I solve it what will I have? I will have V o will be V o would be minus 1 by R c 0 to t V in d t. V o would be minus 1 by R c 0 to t V in d t. Okay. It will integrate the input signal V in all right. So, once again if I, if I see the definition of an integrator, if I see the definition of an integrator, it is a circuit whose output is proportional output is proportional right this output voltage is proportional to the input to the integral to the negative integral negative integral of the input signal with respect to time with respect to time. Feedback is given through capacitor to the inverting terminal feedback is given through the capacitor to the inverting terminal right. Now, since the same current flows through R and C right you see here current I 1 flows through R goes to I 1 goes through C right. Same current I in I in flows through R and C since same current flows through R and C we have I here if I want to measure here right what will be here it will be V V V in by R V in by R equals to I in. If I want, want to measure here then what will I have I will have minus C into d v o by d t correct minus c into d v o by d t or v o equals to v o equals to if I want to find v o from this equation you this is very very simple mathematics that we can use we have to integrate minus 1 by r c into v in by uh, v in d t 0 to t correct from this equation if I want to measure if I want to find the value of V o or we, if I want to uh, uh, derive the equation of V o then what I can do I can have the integration of minus 1 by R c right into 0 to 3 V in d t right. Now, now I know that okay, this is the formula for the integrator this is the formula for the integrator let us solve a problem for the integrator all right so if you are given this circuit an integrator as shown in figure has vc equals to minus 1.4 volts this vc equals to minus 1.4 volts across capacitor at time t equals to 0 a step voltage v in here minus 2 volts is applied all right at time t equals to 0 again determine the RC time constant, RC time constant necessary such that output voltage reaches. So, V o equals to 10.2 volts at time t equals to 5 milliseconds right. This is what we have to find, what we have to find? We have to find the RC time constant, we have to find the RC time constant. So, if I want to find the RC time constant, first I know that my formula for integrator is V o equals to uh, uh, V c right here. Uh, v, if I just want to find uh, the formula for this one output voltage, output voltage will be nothing but V o equals to V c right minus minus 1 by R 1 c 2 1 by R 1 c 2 integrated by V 1 d t correct. So, if I substitute value, so what is the value from 0 t equals to 0 to t equals to 5 milliseconds. So, here I can substitute 0 to 5, 0 to 5 V 1 d t. So, output voltage V o is what? Output voltage V o is 10.2. So, 10.2 equals to minus 1.4 which is my V c 
and then I substitute this value from 0 to 5 right uh, uh, d t. Then what will I have? Uh, when I substitute the value, I can find my value of r 1 c 2 r 1 c 2 to be 0 0.862 millisecond. 0 0.862 millisecond is my r c time constant all right is my r c time constant when I uh, when I am given a integrator when I am given a integrator circuit to work on ok. Let us take another example let us take another example. So, again integrator is also used to change the signal all right or change the shape of the signal. So, it is a shape generator also because if I apply if I apply a square wave I can obtain a triangle wave I can obtain a triangle wave and this we will see in the experimental section all right. I will show you how the integrator can be work uh, can we can design the integrator in the experimental section ok when we perform the experiments when we perform the experiments I will see I will show you how you are applying the input voltage in which particular signal is applied and what is the signal at the output voltage whether the shape is changed or not. Hmm? So, here for this particular uh, uh, problem what we are asked to find we are asked to find the output for the op amp integrator shown in figure for an input of 5 kilohertz. So, he is saying that uh, if I apply the input of 5 kilohertz I had to find the output voltage ok. So, we know this uh, value right we know this equation now r equals to 10 kilo ohm is given c equals to 10 nanofarad again given right. So, input is constant and so what is his here voltage? Voltage is peak to peak voltage is 2 volts right. So, it is 2 volts and it is constant uh, from 0 to 0 0.1 milliseconds so, and from 0 0.1 milliseconds to 0 0.2 milliseconds that is for the output of each of these half periods will be ramp right. So, if I apply this input if I apply this input my output will be uh, for each of these half periods half period would be ramped and thus the expected output will be triangular wave. So, if I apply this one right if I apply the signal I have to see how my capacitor will charge how my capacitor will charge and on charging and discharging of the capacitor I will form the I will get the triangular wave at the output I will get the triangular wave at the output all right. So, this is how the integrator would work now in the in the next uh, uh, module what I want to show you is what is the differentiator what is the differentiator. Now, integrator what we have seen if I if I take an example of the uh, inverting amplifier and if I take an example of the integrator the the thing that is uh, different or non inverting amplifier the, the main thing in integrator was that now the feedback is given through the capacitor. So, that becomes our integrator our input resistance R k feedback capacitor C integrator, but if I change the capacitor from its point uh, its feedback to the input and I have feedback resistor then my circuit will become a differentiator. We will see the differentiator in the next module till then you just quickly see the integrator try to implement the circuit on the breadboard uh, uh, it is very easy you have, to, you have to use function generator you have to apply a DC power supply because you are using op amp if it is a 741 op amp you have to apply plus minus 15 volts you have to apply plus minus 2 volts peak to uh, uh, 2 volts peak to peak uh, with a frequency of 5 kilohertz this is a square wave and when you when you see the output at the uh, integrator what you will be able to see is that you had you can see this output with the help of oscilloscope it can be CRO it can be DS so, and uh, you will be able to see that on applying the square wave the output will be triangular wave that means this integrator can also be used as a waveform generator it can also be used as a waveform generator differentiator and integrator both are all, both circuits are also used as a uh, filters ok are also used as filters which will be our next lecture which, which will be our next lecture. So, uh, I will see you in the next module and we will see quickly uh, very short module uh, which will show the uh, op amp as a differentiator till then you take care I will see you in the next module bye.